Hey, this is Teresa Cyrus at Track Creation 4E. Are you looking for the reuse file option in your ribbon in Microsoft Word? It's not there. Microsoft has retired that feature starting August 2023 and it's going to be gradually phased out through January 2024. So if you have it today, you may not have it tomorrow. But no worries, they do have a replacement feature. And in this video, I will show you what that is. Now, Let's get started. Since the reuse files feature in Microsoft Word behaves differently between the online version and the desk version, I am going to show you the replacement feature in both applications. So I have navigated to the online version and I'm located under insert and reuse files. Now, the way this feature works is that you could actually click on the more actions and you could either open the file, you can insert the link into a file or reuse content. Or if you want, you could just double click on the document, hover over it, notice that I get the plus sign to insert that content only. So that is an image. And if I click here, which is content, I can add that content into my new project. So that's how the reuse feature works. Now, going forward, that icon is no longer going to be there. So what do you do? Let me refresh my screen. Going forward, you can get to your files through the search. You could actually click in the search and open up search pane or you can press alternate Q, which is the shortcut key. If you happen to know the document's name, you could type in the document, but if you click on these documents, it's going to open it up in the browser. If you don't know the file's name, you want to open up the search pane and you get those files. Now, these are what has been suggested to you. These are your most recent, recent files. If you click on the drop down, notice that you can, you know, search the web, you can search for media, help, notes, and files, and you just type in your query and you get your results in this pane. So the other thing that I want to mention to you is that if you are in the, in your document and you want to insert a file, use the at feature to include a link to that document. And you just type in the document's name and now you have a link to it. Now and also notice that all the files here are actually been pulled from my OneDrive. Pull in notes, but most of this information is coming from OneDrive. If you like this level of information, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Microsoft tricks, tips, and news. Now, let's go check out the Microsoft Word desktop version. I have navigated to the desktop version and click on insert and the reuse files will not be there, you know, between now and end of January, 2024. So I'm going to go ahead and close this pane. So you're going to go to the search. Now this behaves slightly different than online. You have to actually go ahead and insert the open search pane and it opens. And you can click on the tab for files and it's going to give you a list of files. Notice that it give you the option to do I want to choose files from my local drive or from the cloud. Remember, we didn't have that option in the online version. You can also click on the drop down and notice we have the same features as we did in Outlook Online, but we got two extra. Do you want to search this file or do you want to search data types? So that is what's slightly different. Again, if you want to click on a document, Hover over the image, click the plus sign if I want to insert that in my current project. Same thing with the text here. You can do that. Now, I can tell you that the at mention 
does not work in the desktop version. If you like this information, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now, go work your magic.